What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I have got a very long video in store for you all. Um, a couple months ago, um, maybe even last year, I can't remember off the top of my head, I did a video comparing Wayne Goss and Sonya G brushes. That video, although was not very detail oriented, so I didn't have all the details, I didn't have the hair type and all that described and pat down and even popped up on the screen, I didn't have any of that. The feeling of the brushes and the way I think the brushes could have been used was very well anal anal analyzed in my opinion. That is a very popular video on my channel. I truly did not expect that. Um, but from that and from just being a makeup connoisseur, if you will, I have grown to have a love for brushes. Um, and I have collected both high-end and luxury brushes. If you can see the amount of brushes that I am about to talk about, it is going to be insane. Um, I have Isom brushes. Uh, I have Ruffer brushes. I have Sonia G brushes. I have Wayne Goss brushes. I have Chikahodu brushes. I have Hakuhodu brushes. I have brushes from everywhere. I even pulled out my Sigma brushes. I'm debating not talking about those. Oh, I have um, Sephora brushes. Um, and I might not talk about those either. It just, I have a lot of brushes. I think I'm going to kind of break up my brush collection because I do want to be more detailed in my brush collection. I haven't really done like, these are the brushes that I own. I just kind of uh, glanced over them in one of my um, in my recent recent collection video um, series so I think in this video I am just gonna mainly talk about I'm um, no not mainly I am only gonna talk about my luxury brushes so that's gonna be the high-end babies I mean the ones that it's like $20 plus per si uh, single brush um, refer isn't that expensive but they're in that that's the market that they're competing in so that's why I'm going to be taught well no they are what am I blabbering about refer is not cheap anyways let's get through this intro if you are interested in seeing and hearing about my luxury brush collection just keep stay tuned I do have my computer this time so I am going to be prepared with all of the actual information I'm gonna try and be as up to date with this information as I can I will also put it on the screen that's why I'm so far back so that there's enough room so you guys can see all of the information that is pertinent for each um, brand that I will be talking about. If you have any questions that I don't answer throughout this video, please leave them down below. I will always read my comments and I will answer them. One last thing before we get into it, I did record this look. This look will definitely be up before I put this video up and this is going to be a three looks with my um, Nomad Hakuhodo. Hakuhodo. My Nomad, um, oh my god, I forgot the name. <laughs> Um, my Nomad Tokyo palette. I, my brain is not working currently. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and let's get into these luxury brushes. Okay, um, I think I'm going to start with my face brushes because I actually have less face brush luxury brands than I do of my eye brushes. I'm going to break this up where I do face brushes and eye brushes and I'm also going to break them up by brand so I can give you the information clustered together. Um, just because I've talked about the brands before I'm just going to go ahead and talk about Sonia G. I also have less of their well more of her brushes so it's easier to just lump them all together. Um, in my collection I do have her face pro set which I'm pulling all of these out. Um, I also have, do I have anything else? No, I only have her face pro set because that's the only set that intrigued me and was actually available when I was in the mood to purchase brushes. Um, I believe at this point her kind of brand has 
died down not really but really enough that I can purchase the sculpt one brush that is a brush that I really really do want to purchase but as of right now these are my only Sonia G brushes like I said it is the pro brush line so it comes with five different brushes and I am going to tell you the brush names now so computer work with me okay so this is the pro face this is an all over powder brush made with dyed and undyed Sai Coho goat hair diffuse prot diffuses product for an evenly blended effect so like i said it just it has side coho goat hair so this is a goat hair brush which means it's a natural haired brush once again this is the face pro brush this is the one that i can never pronounce the name it is the incognito in in Chingi pro child i don't know it is inspired by the art of calligraphy this paint brush like face brush made with dyed side coho goat hair adapts to the unique contours of your face and this once again is a natural hair brush then you have the fan pro this is a fan shaped face brush made with sai coho goat hair it is perfect for gentle blendable application then you have the detail pro which is a petite detail pro brush with dyed and undyed goat un, dyed and undyed sai coho goat hair allows us to build color and intensity seamlessly and then lastly in this collection you have the cheek pro which is to sculpt buff or set with what sonia g calls the cheek brush of your dreams made with dyed sai coho goat hair now sonia g does tend to make a limited type of brushes because she wants the brushes to work for multiple different parts of your makeup a lot of these luxury brands make their brushes in that mindset now i didn't say the prices but i will make sure that i have the prices over here for you guys and i'll also have the brush type and stuff so in case you can't understand what i'm trying to say it'll be there this set retails for $240, $270, but once again, you can buy them separately. I absolutely love Sonia G brushes. Love them to death. They are very, very soft, very, very durable. My only brush that I had a slight problem with when I originally got this kit was this one. This one was shedding a lot. Now I did predominantly use this to set my under eye and my concealer tends to be very tacky when I go in to actually set because that's the first thing I set after I blend out. So that could have led to the reason why this one was shedding so much but other than that i love this set the one that i use the absolute least is this one i don't find that i like my highlighter when i apply it with a fan brush and this one is no different um i prefer to have a more concentrated brush honestly if i were to be truthful i would more likely use the cheek pro to put my highlighter on if i only had this brush set or even the what is this the detail pro I think that's what it's called i would even use this more likely to put my highlighter on than the fan pro this face pro i tend to use for bronzer only i love bronzer brushes and this is a beautifully big brush and it just can really bronze up my face in a really quick second once again i love my sonia g brushes they all are natural hair brushes which a lot of luxury brands do natural hair brushes and i love it to death i will never get rid of these and i actually still want to get more of them i just have low-key not been purchasing brushes lately so that's why i don't have any um more of these right now but I do want to get like duplicates of these so I can have them in my collection. Sorry, I'm like, brushes are everywhere. Okay, so we're just trying to keep it together. Okay, next brand that I'm going to talk about is Wayne Boss, just because I already kind of talked about them before or him before. Um, I only have two face brushes from Wayne Boss and they are very special to me. So this one is the Wayne Goss 00 brush. Let me 
change to the page that has the information this brush i got on recommendation from um stephanie nicole i watched one of her videos who knows what video it is is if i can figure it out i will definitely put it down below um but she was raving about this brush she talked about the difference between this one and the dyed goat hair i am let me make sure i said this right but i believe So this was a limited edition 2013-2014 holiday brush and it was pushed to his permanent line because it was so sought after. Um, this is used to pick up and deposit powder products evenly for a natural airbrushed finish um, and it's available in white or black. Um, this one is goat hair. It doesn't say the type of goat hair. It says that it's made in Kumano, Japan by artists but there's no um, type of goat hair it is cruelty free um, and then it doesn't specifically say that the black one is dyed goat hair but they're both goat hair and this one's white that one's black so I'm going on a leap of faith and a leap of inference that this is undyed goat hair and the black one is dyed goat hair Nicole, Stephanie Nicole recommended this one specifically because she said it blended product better than the dyed goat hair so that's why I got this she recommended for this for a bronzer brush and I absolutely love it for a bronzer brush it is now my third most reached for bronzer brush in my collection and I love it I am very happy that I purchased it and in case you're wondering how much it is it is $85 not cheap next i have the most recent wayne goss holiday brush and this was what 2000 what is it 2019 is that the year uh let me see if i can find it on the page this is this is 2018 i'm sorry this is the 2018 holiday brush this is a limited edition it's currently not in stock and it states that it's this the continued on beautylicious website this is a unique fan shape a large version of wayne goss's best-selling ear brush allows for a complete control over application of for flawless results this is composited of ultra soft goat hair bristles that work well with cream liquid and powder products once again this is a goat hair and it is cruelty free if you're interested in seeing a video with this being used for cream and powder products check out um kinky sweats video she did a beautiful video on this brush which made me want to get it and as you can see i have it in my hands um she applied her foundation her concealer her powder her bronzer her everything she applied everything basically with this brush she even used it to do a transition color for her eyeshadow it was an amazing video if i can remember i will try and link it down below um and yeah this brush retailed for 48 this brush retailed for $48. Um, both of these brushes are extremely soft, extremely beautiful. I don't recall very much shedding at the beginning and I haven't seen much shedding since. So these are really good when it comes with shedding. Um, they haven't really lost their form. Yes, there are one or two bristles out poking, but I am very hard on my brushes, especially when I'm cleaning them. I'm just focused on getting them clean. As you can see, some of my brushes are gonna be dirty. I use my brushes, so it's gonna be like that. But at the end of the day, these are really good brushes um, and I hope people did not misunderstand that when I did my versus video of Sonya G and Wayne Goss. I think both brush brands are good but they can be more directly used by certain people depending on what you want. So either way, I like both of their face brushes, no complaints at all. Okay, going into new brands. Now let's go into Isom. I have one face brush from Isom, which I recently purchased after they did a new launch. I saw this and also, um, what, what's her name? Also, um, Mel Thompson did a review. I need to change my battery. Let me change my battery really quickly. Sorry. Hold on. So like I was saying, I purchased this um, Isom brush both because I wanted it but also because I saw a review done by um, 
by um mel thompson um and this is the ecm x 50 51 there we go okay and this is their large round powder brush their description oh my god it's long okay this ultra luxe makeup brush has an elegated el elongated brush head with a fine tapered dome for precision application made with fine goat hair and ideal for powder makeup mediums um and then it tells you the length of the goat hair so once again this is a natural haired brush i use this for bronzer i think this is an okay bronzer brush it definitely is soft it definitely grips powder um but it's just not my perfect shape and that's the one problem that i have with this brush i think this is actually Excellent brush and I do find ways to use it but for the original purpose that I purchased this brush it's not the best I think this is actually a better blush brush because it has a lot of fluidity in the actual brush hairs and I think that's better for a blush brush than for a bronzer brush it's just it doesn't have the feel or the size on the head that I would prefer for a bronzer brush um, it also could just be a really good powder brush it you can definitely you know pat the powder in on your face so that is also a good um, option and we're just gonna dab some of the oil off your girl's face so yeah still good brush this brush retails for $80 not cheap at all I know I purchased this when there was a sale because your girl was not about to pay that for this but um yeah anyways keep pushing on okay next the next oddball out we have is a Marc Jacobs brush now I don't think most people consider Marc Jacobs brushes to really be in the high in a luxury game but i do because mark jacob is not cheap at all and neither was this brush i actually lucked out and got this brush off of a um i got this brush off of a third party website the person apparently um like got it gifted to them and they already had it or something like that and so they were selling the brush um yes there is that possibility that this brush is fake but if it's fake it's a beautiful fake because i ain't bothered so that's what it is um i couldn't find this particular brush on the mark jacobs website i don't know okay so this brush is no longer available on Marc Jacobs websites but there is a black alternative that is on his website and Sephora um, and it is for $78 you can see that I've had this for a while the lettering is actually starting to wear off this baby has been used this is the Marc Jacobs 12 brush this was in his like coconut line I want to say this is an extra large bronzer brush that gives your face and body an easy sun kissed glow um, this is actually made with synthetic hair and antibacterial synthetic antibacterial hair this is a cruelty free product um, I'm going based on the information that I have if I can find the actual information for this brush I will put it on the screen to correct my error but on the website the black version of this is a cruelty free um, synthetic brush I love this brush. This is my number one bronzer brush. It is so big. I do have a smallish face, I would say, and it really just absorbs my face. It is a plow. It is how I applied my bronzer today. It's been how I applied my bronzer almost every day, hence why it's so dirty. It's low-key permanently stained because I always reach for this brush. I will be buying another one because I it I just need to have two of these in my life. But I truly enjoy this brush and I would highly recommend it if you were looking for a bronzer brush. Like I said, this is my number one bronzer brush. Okay, next we have a couple more oddballs so we're just gonna keep going 
um what are we gonna do actually i have two here so i have two brushes from hakuhodo now hakuhodo is a very <laughs> interesting website they have an obscene amount of brushes and if you don't know what you're looking for you are going to be in for a world of hurt and just a headache i i get headaches easily i get migraines easily and it, it was a mess trying to figure out what brush i wanted um i am going to go through my order to figure out what the names of these brushes are actually it's one in the back so the first fish brush that i'm going to be talking about is this baby right here and it is the j6056 kbsl kibo duo five millimeter brush it retails for $33 and it is a Kibo brush. Our Kibo brushes are created from the idea of traditional Kibo brushes, which has been used for Japanese crafts for gold powders. It is recommended to use this blush or it is recommended to use for blush or highlighter. This layered hair combination provides super soft and even application, hence you can easily build up your ideal intensity even with shimmer powder, glitter, highlight pigmented powder, or vivid color. Um, this is goat and it looks to be synthetic fiber. So this is not natural hair. Um, so from this description, you shouldn't be using this with cream products. Chad, I use this with cream products. I use this for a cream bronzer. This is how I've been picking up my Danessa Myricks cream bronzer. And I just apply it all throughout the edges of my face and I can slightly begin to build or blend it with this. And then I go in and blend it a little bit more with whatever application I use to apply my foundation. I love this brush. I haven't seen very much shedding because I use it for a cream product. Maybe it's just because the product is such superior or maybe it's because your girl is just lucky. But as of right now, that is the way I prefer to use this product and I'm going to keep using it that way. My next um, product that I have is a very, very small brush. Um, let me see if I can figure out what the name is. It's this probably. Nope. Oh, I don't know where that is, but okay. Um, it's this. So it is the Yachiyo Small Tapered. Um, this baby right here, you see how small it is? This thing is $35. I knew it was going to be small, but I didn't think it was going to be small. I thought the actual hair length was small, not the length of the actual handle. That's for another discussion. So this is a traditional makeup brush that Hakuhodo continue to manufacture are perfect for use in everyday lives as an excellent handy makeup tool. This they, they recommend for using for precision contour and to blend highlighter. I truthfully have only used this to set my under eye. This is too small of a brush for me to really be able to work my highlighter in and I don't contour. So that's how your girl has used this before. I don't use this brush very often. Low key because it hides itself in my face brush collection um and yeah that's that's pretty much it overall for the two face brushes that i have from hakuhodo i i feel like it's okay um i really need to find i thought this could be a cheap or a bronzer brush clearly this is too small for bronzer so i, I would like to make another hakuhodo order and get an actual bronzer brush i really want to try what their bronzer brushes are i want to see what the best of the creme de la creme um can do for bronzing for me um but i'm kind of half and half i like this brush not necessarily like this brush they both were expensive as i don't know what but it is what it is and i'm gonna use them so let's keep pushing the last face brush that i'm going to talk about 
today oh my god i've almost been talking for 40 minutes good lord is a refer brush now refer is a brand that really hit the scene when michelle wang reviewed their brand she talked about their um their um program where you could get a brush for, sent free to you and all you had to do review and i mean they just flew from there um i think their website is kind of down no it's not down right now it's not okay so this is their 05 brush and this has actually made its way into their core set um that will be available um to everybody when they officially officially relaunch so this is their 05 brush and um the way they do their brushes is they are their brushes are very much meant to be multi-use so they don't really say this is for this this is for that i thought that this could be a bronzer brush but this is too small for me i like a lot bigger of a bronzer brush but this is a really good blush brush um on the occasion if i truly truly can't find a brush i can use this for bronzer but it's going to take more time to really get the bronzer everywhere that i want on my face this bronzer br or this brush retails for 57 dollars if you were one of the people who signed up for their um what is that program the program where you you sponsor to get them to a certain i don't remember what the program is i was one of the people i bought their like medium length medium priced set right after i got back from my trip i realized that this had launched and your girl went ahead and purchased it um i just recently picked my actual brushes that they'll be giving to me in what i think they said december or january or something i'm very excited this is an extremely well made brush it is extremely soft but it also is durable um this is like sonya g type soft okay it is soft sonya g wayne goss it is definitely in that realm i wouldn't say the um mark jacobs is it is synthetic so that would be a reason why but this baby right here is soft.com okay um like i said i like to use this for um blush somebody i'm just reading a comment and somebody talked about using this for a cream bronzer i might actually try that see if this is another good brush that i can use for my Danessa myricks bronzer because it is bigger than that other one and it might be easier to really buff that into my skin using this product reference says that you can use their products for both cream and powder which is really really good and they are made in japan as well as a lot of these more high-end luxury brushes so that is my high end that is my luxury face brush collection i am now going to transition into my luxury eye collection um so if you didn't already get a snack get some alcohol get a drink get a real drink anything like that i would highly recommend you do that because this is the section that i go ham in i have an obscene amount of eye brushes from luxury brands and let's get into it okay so i'm gonna start off with my sonia g brushes just because that's how i started off my face brushes and why not start off and go the same route i am back on beautylicious website all of the websites that i'm using to give you guys this information will all be listed down below for you guys along with i will try my best to list down the actual um brushes that i'm talking about for you guys as well now i know i I have her pro set and I know I have her pro set I just have apparently momentarily lost one of the brushes so I have all of her pro brushes I actually bought the pro set as the bundle the pro set as a bundle is $150 you get the five brushes you get three brushes that have white hair and you get two that have a darker hair now let's go through each brush just like i did the face brush the pencil pro is a smaller version of the current pencil 2 it is densely packed to give strength yet remain super soft on the skin the domed point size to cover as many purposes as possible 
and it does not state the 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 pencil pro is psych psychoho goat hair just like the face pro products were okay next is the builder pro um i believe it is this one it is a flat tapered brush for packing color onto the lid oh no this sorry builder pro pro a flat tapered brush for packing color onto the lid and building intensity while minimizing fallout the tapered layouts the tapered layers shape and density allow great control for the placement and uniformity with the application um, this brush is said to be made with dyed psychoho goat hair Then you have the Worker Pro, which I believe is this one. And it's a universal eye brush designed to fit all eyes shapes. And this is just side coho goat hair. So this is not dyed, it's undyed. Next we have the, the I just said the Worker Pro, right? Where was I? Yeah, I was on the Worker Pro. Next, we have the Crease Pro, and this is a medium-sized crease brush that blends color seamlessly and bend, blends impeccably. Its particular design allows elevated strength at the tip, offers optimum control, and minimizes fallout. This brush is Saihoko Goat Hair, and it's undyed, not dyed. The last brush in this set is a Blender Pro, a densely packed blending brush that distributes color across the lid with a diffused finish. And this is dyed Psycho Goat Hair, dyed. So all five of these brushes, a combination of dyed and undyed goat hair, and they're beautiful. They feel beautiful, they've lasted well. Once again, I do have a little fraying going on with some of them, but it's just because I am very brutal with the cleaning of my brushes and the housing of my brushes. If I put one of my little um, uh, brush um, formers on these, all of these would go back to normal and be good to go. These are all very, very beautiful brushes. And yeah, out of these, I don't, have a favorite brush to be honest which is why i haven't purchased any duplicates but i really do enjoy them and i do use them without a doubt next i have an obscene amount of her original brushes and some of her thereafter released brushes um sonya g has been releasing um more brushes every so often and then she had her initial brush range that was released um so i'm gonna do my absolute best to figure out what all of these are <laughs> and actually tell you guys what they are because otherwise i'm gonna be up a creek so this is the crease one this is a velvet soft crease brush which offers even targeted application into the crease this one is 32 dollars and is with undyed Psycoho goat hair. Next is the Smudger One, which is this baby right here. It is a flat precision brush, offers the perfect combination of strength and softness for controlled, for controlled smudging along the lashes. This is once again undyed Psycoho goat hair then then we have the pencil one this is the precision pencil brush it offers performance and control without sacrificing a soft feel this is once again undyed psychoho goat psychoho goat hair I actually have two of the smudger ones so I'm just gonna put that other one down let's see what else I have 
Um, <laughs> this is a surprise to me too. Um, this is the builder one. And this is an effortlessly build, effortlessly builds color and intensity. And this is dyed side coho goat hair. This one is $32. I will of course be putting that information on the side because it's a lot to remember to say and your girl is getting tired. Next I have the worker one. This is $36. It is an eyeshadow brush designed to soften and diffuse pigment without ever over blending. This baby is dyed Sai Kai Sai Sai Coho goat hair. Then I believe I have the worker Two, and this is an eyeshadow blending brush designed to soften creams and powders with an airbrushed finish. This is $36 and this is Psycho, Psycho Ho Goat Hair and this is undyed. And I have two other mystery brushes that I don't think I've seen. Um, apparently I have seen them so I need to find this. this is the builder three the builder three is this handcrafted layout brush builds up all types of powder eyeshadow with a seamless even finish this is 32 dollars currently out of stock and it is dyed side co ho goat hair and then my last brush i apparently did not recognize when i went through the first time so I truly don't know what this brush is. I don't see it on the website. This is perplexing. Hold on, let me go to my account. This is a crease one and this brush is no longer carried on Beautylish, but by the look, it is dyed Psycho Ho Goat Hair. That brush must have been discontinued by Sonya G. Overall, I truly enjoy her brushes um more so for the way that they apply eyeshadow if you saw my eyeshadow um match up between her and wayne goss you noticed that i prefer wayne goss's brushes um the shapes not necessarily the feel i prefer her softness my two favorite brushes is this worker one i forgot they were labeled good lord and the worker two these are my two favorite eye brushes and i might actually go ahead and repurchase some others um but i also thoroughly enjoy this one as well and this is the builder three these are the three brushes that if i had to redo my eyeshadow brush collection when it comes to sonya g these would be the three that I would purchase. I really, really hope that she comes out with a bigger and fluffier crease brush. Um, but until then, I am happy. And if you didn't realize, I recommend all of these brush brands, by the way. Okay, next, let me gather up my Wayne Goss brushes just to keep the order somewhat together. Um, and then we will talk about Mr. Wayne Goss. Okay, I believe, I believe wrong. Okay, I believe these are all my Wayne Goss brushes. Quite a few brushes actually, um, more than I remember purchasing, but sometimes I just black out and I just purchase things. Um, so it looks like I have two very similar brushes. I think one happened to be a holiday collection. Let me stop talking and pull up his website. Um, so I have two brushes that look very, very similar. Um, and that makes me happy because they are my favorite of 
the Wayne Goss brushes. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is the Wayne Goss 16. This is his large eyeshadow crease brush. This brush retails for $30. It is tailor made for all over blending. Brush 16 features the perfect shape to seamlessly smudge and diffuse color. This brush is made from goat hair and it is said to be cruelty free. Now the brush that I was talking about that is very very similar to that one looks to be made from dyed goat hair and this one is the brush 03. This is another large eyeshadow crease brush. It is $32 and it is designed for versatility. This large eyeshadow brush does much more than meets the eye. This is made, I apologize, this is not made with dyed goat hair. This is made with blue squirrel hair. That makes a difference in how it picks up the formula. Um, but they have very very similar shapes um except for the number 16 is slightly bigger than the number what three yeah the number three the three is the blue haired goat hair and this one is i mean the blue squirrels hair and this one is the goat hair brush so very good brushes i really do want another number 16 if not two this is one of my favorite wayne goss brushes Okay, next we're going to go into the more detail-oriented brushes. If you did not know, a lot of Wayne Goss's brushes, eye brushes, are very detail-oriented. So if you have smaller eyes, this brand is going to be really good for you because you're going to get small brushes. Um, let me see what brushes I have. So next on the website I see is the number 19 and I have that brush. It is this baby right here. It is the eyeshadow precision blending brush designed with designed with small and hooded eyes in mind brush 19 redistributes color effectively for fast flawless eye looks this is made from goat hair and said to be cruelty free. The next one on his list is the 18 and this is an eyeshadow blending brush. It is expertly expertly blend eyeshadow to a seamless airbrushed finish in seconds with this handmade Japanese brush. It is $27 and this is a goat haired brush and it is cruelty free. Next we have the number 17 do i have that i do not have the number seen at number 17 and i actually have two 19s so i'm just going to put that one away next we have the number 20 i have that so we're going to talk about that that is an eyeshadow smudging brush this is to create detail eye looks from cut creases to smoky eyes with this high performance precision brush this is 22 dollars, and this is made with goat hair i have two other brushes which i believe to be made with blue squirrel hair um so just give me a second we gotta find them on the website for the first one i'm going to talk about is the 04 brush this is a small eyeshadow crease brush it adds depth dimension and drama to all eye looks even hooded with this ultra luxe eyeshadow brush it costs $28 and like I said this is made with blue squirrel hair and then last for my Wayne Goss collection I have the 06 brush and this is an eyeshadow blending brush this softens and diffuses eyeshadow concealer and more in a single stroke this ultra plush blending brush it is $25 and this once again yep it is made with blue squirrel hair um I do like brushes that are made with blue squirrel hair but I do tend to reach for the more goat hair brushes because goat hair brushes are really going to pick up more product I find that blue squirrel hair doesn't pick up as much product but does tremendous blending work um and really you can build your product better i like all of his brushes 
don't get me wrong i love all of his brushes um but definitely my favorite is the number 16 i'm going to get more i apparently love the number 19 i do like to use them in my more detailed crease work and i really enjoy the number 18 for putting shadow in my outer v if i had to say which set i would recommend more i would recommend this set which is what's the name of this set because i know it released in a set um his eye set which is 130 dollars i would recommend you guys get this because i actually use these brushes more than i use my blue squirrel brushes but that's not to say that you can't um or that you would i just that is how i use my brushes when it comes to the wayne goss family okie dokie um let's go i think next i did isium child at this point we just finna keep pushing because i'm tired okay so i think these are all my isium brushes um and i do have quite a few um one brush i know i have two of because i'm obsessed with it and i love it for putting my shimmers on my lid and then the other ones i got because i was intrigued by the shape so let me go to Muse Beauty Pro and then we can see what these brushes are about. Okay, the one that I have two of, this should be the Isium W21 and it is, this is, let me find it on their website. This is a small Phil Burt shader brush. This is $24. They say this is a classic brush shape, ideal for professional shading and detail application for powder to cream mediums. Sable hair provides ultimate control and application. It also available in different options. Um, I prefer this size. This is actually perfect for my lid shape. I do have small, I would say hooded eyes. So if you have smaller eyes, I would recommend getting this small one. It's bigger than I thought, um, but it actually is perfect for my eyes. Like I said, I got two, I love them. They're never going anywhere. And if you did not catch it, these are made with sable hair. I also got a bigger one because I was intrigued and I got the medium size of the same brush style. This is stupid big, like stupid big. This is gonna be something that I switch to being more of a concealer sh shade because it's too big for my eyes. If you have bigger lids, go for it, but this is too big and this is quite literally the same brush, just a bigger size. So in case, you want to see the difference there is the difference between the two sizes the small one is the small one and that one is the medium so if you think that's even too small for your lids there is a larger size in that style of a brush i have three more styles of brushes um, from ecm the next one i'm going to talk about is the g27 this is the small shadow brush. This retails for $24 and this is perfect for shading to blending eye makeup. Soft textured goat hair offers a sheer to medium application ideal for powder mediums and this is also also offered in different sizes i just realized that this is offered in an extra small i might go ahead and pick up that extra small because i do like the shit the the type of brush but it is just a little bigger than i prefer to work with it is a good brush um but i must say this sable brush here because it's so firm it really really will pick up product and lay it on your eye even better than a goat hair brush would so speak as you will and if you did not know those are natural hair brushes okay i have two more brushes left the next one i'm going to be talking about is the w36 and this is the small round angle eye contour brush this is designed for precision eye contour application from creating a cut crease to working with smaller eye areas this l elongated angular tip brush made from sable hair offers the ultimate whip and snap 
for a control application. This is ideal for mediums of powder to cream and this is offered in different lengths of the hair. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the size of this baby. This is actually relatively big. Bigger than I was expecting for this to be the small but this works beautifully if you want to angle all the color to stay like above your crease. You can use this brush and its purpose is to help you do something like that. This is a really really good brush. I don't tend to reach for it often because I haven't been doing very detailed um, crease work but when I do do detailed crease work this is really good at specifically placing color where you want and you can also use the tip to specifically place color in the actual crease if you want to do that as well. Okay my last brush that I purchased from ECM um, is this baby right here and this is the T43. This is a flat I'm sorry this is a medium flat eye brush this is ideal for a multitude of uses from priming the eye area to eye makeup the filibert shaped brush is made with smooth toklon to Taclon fiber ideal for cream to gel makeup mediums and this is only available oh they also have a large size this is huge okay this is basically covers my whole lid with just putting it down so this would be actually really good for um putting uh, blending out my um, primer. I've never used it for that. I have used it though to put down a base. It wasn't my primer but to use, put down a base. It does work really good. It is a very um, very strong and very resilient fiber so you're really going to be able to push the product around if you have like a really hard mountain unmalleable product this would be a really good like really workhorse brush to work with um overall i really do enjoy my ecm brushes like i said i thoroughly enjoy my w what is it 21 right yeah my w21 i will look forward to getting a smaller version of the g27 and i really enjoy this w36 so if i had to tell you my top three brushes these would be my top three brushes from the eye brushes that i purchased from muse beauty pro i'm running out of space um i'm just gonna do some of the random brushes that i only have like one or two from really quickly just to get them out of the way i purchased one smith brush and a random beautylish order that i made and it was their um what is this called this is the a the arrowhead brush let me find it it is the 253 arrowhead lay down brush and i purchased the small and this is created with flexibility in mind this brush features a pointed tip of soft thin pony hairs that allows you to apply precision i highlight wow allows you to apply precision shadow highlights to the corner inner corner of the eye or smoke out the lower lash line this is made with pony hair p-o-n-y hair i have never used this brush for my inner corner highlight or my lower lash line when i use this brush it has been to either carve out my brow for the one day that i like royally messed up and i needed to do it or it's really good for putting um a um brow bone highlight which means i do not use this brush very often it's just not something i can do but i will say if you have bigger eye shape than i do this might actually be really good for cutting your lid i use a similar shaped brush but it's smaller that has a point like this and it allows me to really cut my crease very quickly because I can just lay the edge on my um, crease and just go so I would recommend this brush um, maybe not for somebody that has my size eyelid if you don't do the other two really smaller uses that I talked about but um, if you have like a slightly bigger eye shape than me this might be really good for cutting your lid if you have problems cutting your lid the next brand that I want to throw in there is Chico Hoto. So I only have two brushes from this brand. 
and I threw them in when I did random Beautylish orders as well. Um, and I put in one crease brush and one lid shader brush. I kind of wanted to just get a general um, idea of the brush and I must say this GSN series 10 eyeshadow brush has been put to work okay work um i wanted to buy another one but every time i remember about it it's always out of stock currently it's in stock which is always good this brush is an eyeshadow brush with bristles made from hair with hair from goat it is designed to softly blend along the crease to the eyelid like i said this is made with goat it does not specify what type of goat but this is a beautiful crease brush beautiful crease brush i would like to repurchase this um and at least get one more crease brush it is just delicious delicious and very very soft the other brush that i have from them is the gsn 09 brush and this i thought was their smallest and most like metallic packer on eyeshadow brush if you will and this brush is described to be an eyeshadow brush with bristles made from the hair of a gray squirrel which explains why i don't particularly like this for putting shadow on my lid like i said gray squirrel does not necessarily in my opinion pick up as much um product so when i go to use this for my metallics it's not going to really foil them and make them look delicious but this might be a better like outside pressing shadow because i can slowly build that color to deepen up on my outer v so i will try and use that and see how i like it it's not a bad brush it's made beautifully these have held up tremendously but Overall, if I had to choose between these two brushes, it would definitely be the GSN 10. Um, and I would like to try more brushes, but ooh chow, um, Chiku Hodo is expensive, which is why I haven't even touched their face brushes, because them babies ain't cheap. But who, who knows? Who knows? I might get a cheap brush, because y'all know me. All right, I think the last big brand, no, I have, I'm not going to talk about MAC that can go in my high-end um, range let me kind of group everything to okay so we have two more brush brands that I need to originate with but I forgot one of my ECM brushes so I just want to go ahead and tell you guys what this brush is this is the S33 um, and to be quite honest, I don't truly remember ever using this brush, which is never a good thing, but this is the Medium Tapered Eye Contour Brush. This is a classic eye shading essential for the windshield wiper technique. The elongated brush head comes to a fine tapered dome for precision contour made with soft goat hair for a sheer application of powder mediums. That's probably why I'm not a huge fan of this brush. Um, I like very pigmented crease work and I mean, the, just feeling it, it's not a bad brush, but from hearing that it's meant to only do sheer product, that's probably why I don't reach for this brush very, very often. I'm gonna stick with my top three shadow or brushes that I said prior. Okay, um, I don't remember, I think I did refer last, so let's go ahead and go back to Haku Hodo, I mean, uh, yeah, Haku Hodo, um, and I will tell you guys the description for each of these brushes. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is this baby. It is the G5516BKSL eyeshadow brush round. <clears throat> and this is a Th these bristles are made from horse, are elastic, durable, and produce great color. It works well for smudging and blending eyeshadow. I think this is a very, very good, like, I just want to blow out an eyeshadow look. But the one problem I have with this brush is this is very, 
very flexible i hope you guys can see just how flexible it is i am not putting much pressure on this at all and it's too flexible for the way that i like to do a lot of my crease work so when i go to use it it just fluffs the color everywhere um if i ever go back to really setting my base this would be really good to just really quickly set my base um and this might be really good for just a huge like i want to go from the whole transition just needs to be this color really quickly one two three done but other than that if you want any sort of precision i would not recommend this brush at all okay next brush is the it's from the pro oh i don't know where those are these are i bought okay i purchased two I think two eyeliner brushes from Hakuhodo um, and I don't want to read their description because it's super long but they're both synthetic fibers they are very very good I use them for my lip art and honestly my lip art stuff is everywhere and nowhere so yeah but they're very very good they suck up your eyeliner or your product really well and then it helps it the brush the brush fibers to thin out really really well but like i said i truly don't know where they are they could be under my bed for all i know so we're just gonna keep going for the sake of time and my sanity okay um I also purchased the Japanese painting brush. I don't even use this. This is purely decoration. It's over on my desk. Um, it's just, it doesn't apply as much product as I would like. But if you are a very, like, very subtle eyeshadow wearer, that might be a product or a brush for you. But just for the way that I like to use my eyeshadow, it's too subtle in the application. So I just, I don't even have it in my little makeup area. The next brush that I want to talk about is the eyeshadow brush. It is a round and flat. That's the name, 246. Okay, this is a horse and pa may, pa me are used for these bristles. So quick, quite resilient yeah so quite resilient and produce excellent coloring this is a beautiful lid packer color i truly enjoy this one if they had this brush but slightly bigger i would be even happier because funny enough this is actually smaller than i wanted i actually wanted it a little bit bigger than this so i will be potentially making another hakuhodo order um but we'll see because child hakuhodo ain't cheap okay so we will see how that goes but very good brush nonetheless next we have this brush and this is the j5533 bksl eyeshadow brush and this is the round version the hair used for this brush is resilient yet soft goat its hair length and shape enables you to achieve soft and natural coloring with this eyeshadow brush you can naturally smudge and blend eyeshadow it also can be used with all types of product liquid or cream based makeup and even powder once again this is goat um hair this is a really really good brush for blending so this is a brush that i will go to for any type of crease work um whether it's laying down my first transition or doing a more complicated trans uh crease area i do like this brush and i would recommend it do be aware that it is quite literally a flat um head so it's not going to be rounded or fluffy or anything like that it's quite unique in my collection i don't believe i have any other brush just like this and i truly do enjoy it and use it quite often is that a bug that is bug Ew. okay next i'm going to talk about the next two well i'm going to talk about this brush this is the j5523 bk sl eyeshadow brush round and flat the bristles made from goat are soft on your skin and provide moderate resilience this brush can be used for the upper lid area and produces great coloring and also can be used with all style types of products liquid or cream base this is a really good like you're getting closer and closer this is a really good you're getting really close to your lid brush so i use this once i'm like 
basically right on my lid but I really just want to push in one more color it's a really good brush for that and it also is really good for putting on color on the outside V I really do like this brush it's very um um, multi-faceted and I truly truly enjoy it a brush that is basically its sister but I think a slightly more expensive version is the s 5523 a and the huge difference is this is the um, this uh, this part right here it is gold instead of silver um, and this is made with horse hair uh, so the other one was made with goat hair this one's made with horse hair um, and it's soft for your skin and provide moderate resilience this brush can be used for upper lid crease hair so it has everything else but just the brush hair and this thingy right here are different they both I use them both interchangeably um, and I think they're both good very um, very similar brush shapes um, just different um, hair types and different um whatever this is called i know it's the anglet with the shoelace but i don't know what it's called on a brush makeup brush okay my last brush for hakuhodo is the s5523 b um and this is a brush that is made with goat hair soft for your skin and provide moderate resilience this brush can be used for upper lid work so once again just like the wait no hold on i read the wrong description this doesn't seem right it's this one okay i'm sorry um and it is these bristles are made from goat and horse are soft on your skin and provide moderate resilience this brush can be used for the upper lid area and provide great coloring and can also be used on all types of products liquid and cream da 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 this once again just like the last two that i said is really good for that very last i want to pop a color in my crease somehow some way and packing on color on your outer v i use all three um, brushes interchangeably the only difference is that these two are from the same line they're just slightly different brushes and this one is from a cheaper line so do keep that in mind I've forgotten to tell you guys the prices for all these Hakuhodo brushes, but they will be scrolling on the screen. Last group of brushes and last brand is from Refer. I have different forms of Refer brushes. I'm not positive all of these made it to their real lineup, but if they did, I will let you know. So this one is the O2 brush. This is in their core lineup. And this is, they don't really do descriptions like I said, but I love this for cutting my crease. I will definitely be getting another one. I purchased another one in my like, purchase with them with that that service that I keep forgetting what the name is called um kickstarter so in their kickstarter I purchased the bundle and I was able to choose my brushes long story short this is one of the brushes I chose and this is really really good for cutting out my lid I actually used it in my eye look today but it also is good for applying my metallics I love this brush um the one thing I just thought about is I didn't tell you guys the 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 tech the what these brushes are made of i'm not gonna fuss over it too much i'm just gonna have the information scroll over but i want to say that this is my oh get it together sis i didn't tell you guys my top three brushes from hakuhodo it is definitely this um lid packing brush and this j5533 the this one doesn't have a name on it so the lid packing brush that i talked about the jade 5533 and then any of these other three ones honestly i use them all interchangeably so i don't find that any of them are extremely unique but any of these three shape brushes i would highly recommend from Akuhoto. um and like i said i will be making another order definitely for that lid shading brush i want another um but yeah okay sorry back to refer one last time my voice is dying so refer um o2 my favorite brush from them when it comes to eyeshadow by far no comparison okay next we have i have the o1 
and this one is like a um, crease brush it does have a slight tilt to it which can be beneficial if you want to um, angle where you put the product it's kind of very similar to the Eastium brush that I showed you guys where you could just stick it into your crease you can do a very similar thing with this brush I don't tend to do that very often and honestly I didn't notice that until just now um, but usually I'll just take this brush and pack on my outer V and blend like a normal blending brush good brush um, yeah and this is a part of their core collection the next two are a part of their bespoke collection um, and the first one that I'm going to talk about is the only one I'm going to talk about because they're the same exact brush and it doesn't look like it actually made it into their official lineup is the 01. Um, it's the S01. This is like the same thing as honestly the core brush. It's quite literally in my opinion very similar at most some one of them is fluffier than the other one but that just might be the use that i gave one more than the other um these are all very good brushes i do like them i will say um that out of all of my brushes for rougher this baby right here it takes the cake so for me this would be the one i recommend because all the other ones are basically the same so if i could recommend one eye brush from, from rougher for you it would be the o2 brush and it is going to be in their permanent line um if you did miss the kickstarter they have a section where you can sign up to get information when their website and they will start like basically shipping out again but other than that i am tired my voice is sore your girl has a long day tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, which means a big recording day. So I need to ha 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 relax my voice. Let me stop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a lot more clarifying, a lot more in depth, a lot more informative. I will be breaking down the rest of my brush collection. It will take a while because child, this was a long video. So I will eventually be coming back to you guys doing high end brushes so more of the mid-range so that's where you're going to see my sephora you're going to see my um um royal land nickel stuff like that because those aren't very cheap and then i will come back with my bottom level cheap brushes like my morphe my bh etc etc so i do have a wide arrangement of brushes and i do intend to talk to all talk to you guys about all of them in case you are interested in all of them please check out my description down below because i'm going to aim to be very descriptive down there listing all the brushes that i talk about giving you guys links to my to the websites where you guys can visit these brushes and anything else that i think is pertinent on the sides i will hopefully have all of the information whether it's the brush type or the the hair type and the price of the brushes um and of course where you can pick the brush up as always let me know if you have any questions down below i'm going to aim to be really quick on my answer my questions on this video and as many videos as i can just because i'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently and i think that's it my voice is literally dead at this point i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all it has been real peace